Elon Musk made $142 billion last year, mostly due to an unprecedented run in Tesla stock. This allowed him to become the richest person in the world and many Tesla investors to make life-changing amounts of money. In the stock market though, there's a popular saying that the market takes the stairs up and the elevator down. So here's why Elon Musk is in risk of taking the elevator down very soon. Starting off, we all know that Tesla's valuation is out there. Personally, I'm super optimistic about Tesla and the long-term dominance in terms of electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and even solar energy. But take a look at this. Tesla is literally worth as much as the rest of the automotive industry combined while only pulling in 2.1% of the revenue. Now, many will argue that Tesla is a tech company and that self-driving technology is what really justifies its valuation. I'm sure this will be true 10 or 15 years down the line, but I'm skeptical about this argument today. Here's the thing, people who invested into Amazon during 1998 and 1999 thinking that the internet and e-commerce were the future were 100% right. But they were a bit too early and a bit too excited. If they bought at dot-com highs of about $113 per share in 1999, they would be up massively today as Amazon trades at well over $3,000. At the same time though, it would have taken them a full 10 years just to break even. More importantly, at one point in 2001, they would have been down 95% on their investment as Amazon would dip to just $6 a share. Now, I'm not saying that Tesla will also drop 90 or 95% from all-time highs just like Amazon, though that is possible. Rather, what I think is more likely is a 40 or 50% pullback from all-time highs. And here's why. First of all, we're not going to be talking about any financial metrics like PE ratio, forward PE ratio, RSI, MACD, or anything like that. All of those indicators are extremely overextended, especially on the weekly chart. Moreover, technical analysis isn't a very concrete piece of evidence for an upcoming crash anyways. If you were basing your decisions on metrics like the PE ratio, you probably would have been bearish on Tesla for nearly a year at this point, and you likely missed out on a lot of gains. So instead, we'll focus on the rudimentary basics of stock price movement, which are just buyers and sellers. If there are more buyers than sellers, the stock goes up. And if there are more sellers than buyers, the stock goes down. That's it. All of those fancy indicators and metrics are simply methods to predict if there are going to be more buyers or more sellers. So in order to understand why there might be an influx of sellers coming up, let's take a look at why there was an influx of buyers in the first place, starting with short sellers. Heading into 2020, Tesla was the most shorted stock in the US. Short sellers are individuals who profit when the stock goes down. However, if the stock goes up, they end up feeling the upward momentum when they exit their positions. This phenomenon is called a short squeeze and is the same as what we saw with GameStop stock recently. One key difference between the two scenarios though is that Tesla stock started to rally because the fundamentals of the company were improving, while GameStop rallied just because it was shorted way too much and Wall Street Bets decided to punish the shorts. Regardless of what caused a short squeeze, one of the main reasons Tesla stock skyrocketed like GameStop was because of short sellers. There are still notable people trying to short Tesla stock like Michael Berry, but the vast majority have stopped trying to short Tesla simply because they have lost so much money. In fact, short sellers lost $40 billion in 2020. As a result, the short interest in Tesla stands at just 5.46% today. Thus, we won't be seeing another short squeeze with Tesla anytime soon. Moving on, another major factor driving Tesla's historic run was single-time events. Tesla finally posted their first profitable year in 2020. This was especially impactful as it led massive amounts of short sellers to exit their positions in July of 2020 and it allowed Tesla to enter the S&P 500. However, neither of these events can ever happen again. Or I guess they technically can, but that would involve Tesla becoming unprofitable again and then getting kicked out of the S&P 500, which would indicate even bigger problems. Given that Tesla is growing and improving, we'll likely never see these catalysts again. The same thing goes for the stock split as well. Tesla stock rallied 66% in anticipation of the stock split. First of all, Tesla shouldn't have rallied at all because of that news, considering that doesn't change anything fundamental about the company. Moreover, stock splits usually only happen once every several years, so we don't have this catalyst on our side either. Looking forward, many of you guys might argue that the rollout of full self-driving software may act as a catalyst. And though I agree that level 5 autonomy will be a major advantage for Tesla, I don't think that will be reflected in the stock price. Just think about what happened after battery and autonomy day. So unfortunately, we're running out of big single-time events that will impact Tesla stock positively. Next up, something else to consider is that many people were getting into Tesla stock for the first time in 2020. 
Many investors, both institutional and retail, wrote off Tesla stock for several years, as they were literally in risk of going bankrupt. Now that Tesla's financial situation has vastly improved though, many investors have poured into Tesla. Something to note though, is that the majority of people buying into Tesla bought in during spring and summer of 2020. Ever since then, the volume of Tesla stock traded every single day has been on a constant decline. During spring and summer of 2020, 400 to 500 million shares of Tesla were being traded every single week. In the third week of February 2021, however, this number was just 82.48 million shares, meaning that volume decreased by roughly 80 to 90 percent. This indicates that the majority of people who wanted to get into Tesla are already in Tesla. Also, the majority of them are likely significantly in the green. Run-ups on low volume like this are extremely dangerous, as we don't know what the majority of shareholders actually think about the price today. It's possible that many of them think it's overvalued, but they're continuing to hold because it just keeps running up. If the stock price starts to show weakness or starts to dip, it's quite possible that many of these people will take profits, thus adding to the selling pressure. Anyways, another major factor propelling Tesla forward is of course low interest rates and the Federal Reserve printing basically unlimited money. Neither of these seem to be stopping anytime soon. So that's good for the stock market in general. However, something that is likely coming to an end is stimulus checks. Congress and the White House have put off a second round of stimulus checks for several months at this point. But now that a new administration is finally settling in, it looks like the second stimulus bill will finally be passed in the imminent future. This would generally be a good thing. However, this bill has been anticipated for so long that I think most of it has already been priced into stocks. For instance, let's take a look at the Nasdaq 100. Around the election, the Nasdaq 100 hovered at $11,000. Today, the Nasdaq stands at well over $13,000, meaning that the Nasdaq has rallied about 20% since the election. Keep in mind that indices like the Nasdaq and S&P 500 grow 8-10% to every year on average. So, the market is clearly pricing in some sort of good news before it actually happens. And I think that this is the upcoming stimulus bill as well as vaccine distribution. What happens though when the stimulus bill is actually passed and the average person gets the vaccine? We may very well see another pop in stocks as the news comes out. But I think this boost will be short lived. And finally, that brings me on to the final major reason that Tesla stock may be shaky moving forward which is a recent purchase of Bitcoin. Now, I'm not against Bitcoin by any means. I actually think Bitcoin will perform quite well over the long term. However, this is not the case with many institutional investors in Tesla. We do have some institutional people like Kathy Wood and Chamit Palakapatiya who have a positive outlook on Bitcoin. But the majority of Wall Street has the same view as Gary Black who thinks Bitcoin is screwed. As a result, many of these institutions are slowly selling their Tesla stake or have already sold their Tesla positions. This actually might be the main reason that we have seen weakness with Tesla stock since the Bitcoin purchase announcement. Aside from this, the purchase of Bitcoin introduces a major threat for Tesla's bottom line. You see, Tesla only net profits a few hundred million dollars per quarter, which as a proportion of the revenue is quite small. Meanwhile, they recently purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin when Bitcoin was at about $30,000. Since then, Bitcoin has rallied to over $50,000, which means that Tesla profited about $1 billion from this investment already. Ironically, that's more than Tesla has made throughout their entire history selling cars. And this is where things get dangerous. You see, whenever Bitcoin goes up, Tesla can't claim it as profit on their financial reports until they sell their stake. However, if Bitcoin dips below their purchase price, they must report it as a loss, as they can't guarantee that it will recover. As a result, if Bitcoin pulls back like it so often does, Tesla could very well end up with quite a red quarterly report even if their core business is doing well. At the end of the day, Tesla stock is no longer heavily shorted. They don't have very many major catalysts coming up. They're rallying on low volume. And they just made an investment that might hurt their bottom line. With all that being said, I think sellers may continue to outweigh buyers moving forward, causing Tesla to ride the elevator down just like it did last Monday. I personally think that this will simply be a great buying opportunity though, as Tesla has an outstanding future long term. Do you guys agree that Tesla stock is going to pull back quite substantially before it moons once again? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you guys thought this video explained the threats for Tesla stock well. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.